Hi everyone, I'm Britta DiStefano, owner of Progress Through Play and mom of two little kiddos here in Denver, Colorado. Today I want to talk to you guys about pronation and flat feet. So the first important thing that I want to mention is that flat feet and pronation are two totally different things. Pes planus or flat arches is when physically the arch of the foot has a flattened appearance to it. Now pronation is something that can go hand in hand with pes planus, but pronation is when the actual heel bone, so the calcaneus, is tilted inwards, the arch is flattened, and then the toes kind of fan out this way from the ankle rolling in. So when you see someone whose ankles roll inwards, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about over pronation. And so this is something that often and commonly affects children who have low muscle tone or hypotonia. So today on my social media, I posted a picture of a child with hypotonia and what his ankles looked like. And there's an angle where his ankles roll in and then his heels come like this. And a lot of people wanted to know kind of what we would do for a child who presents with low muscle tone and overpronation. So the first thing I would do is evaluate them and look at their posture and their gait mechanics. So I would look at how they walk and look at how their lower extremity alignment looks when they're um, just standing and when they're walking. And I would determine whether or not I think an orthotic would be um, a good possibility for that child. A lot of times for children um, that present that way, I will go with a supramalleolar orthotic, meaning it just goes right above the ankle and gives them support at the arch and at the ankle. So Sure Steps is one that is a favorite of mine, and I've also used Cascade orthotics as well. And then we would want to look into continuing physical therapy intervention to work on their gross motor skills and then also some specific ankle strengthening exercises. So I gave a few examples in my Facebook group today and on Instagram of some things that you can do with your child at home if you feel like they are struggling and maybe might have some overpronation at the ankles. So the first thing would be to work on going up on their tiptoes and jumping because jumping really activates all of those lower extremity muscles that we use to stabilize the ankle. And the next thing would be to do some balance challenges with your child, having them walk on unstable surfaces like couch cushions, pillows, having them walk through sand is really amazing. And then also I would have them work on some specific toe and foot exercises like picking things up with their feet and scrunching a scarf or a towel with their toes. I like to um, get those little like pom-poms and spread them out on the floor and have children pick them up with their feet and put them in a cup for me. Um, all the fun colors are always really motivating for kids. And so those are just a few of the things that you can work on with your own child at home. And if you have any questions, I do offer virtual consults for anyone all over the world. If you would like me to do a quick um, wellness check for you and your child and let you know if maybe I would recommend you go see a physical therapist in your area or just give you some tips for things you can do at home. So please reach out to me if you have any questions about flat feet and pronation.